Tony Hendra and Nick Gallet are two comedians from England who just scored a big hit at New York nightclub called uh, Plaza Nine. And after watching them in the rehearsals this afternoon, I can sure understand why. So let's welcome them to the Hollywood Palace tonight, Hendra and Alet. <laughs> This is the BBC, broadcasting to you from London, England. When you hear the buzz, it will be the correct time. <laughs> it is now the correct time. <laughs> Good evening. Here is the news. I'm sorry, I'll read that again. Here are the news. <laughs> We are your two newscasters, Hardly and Worthly. <laughs> the SS Queen Mary, the largest ocean-going liner in the world, was stolen today from dry dock in New York. <laughs> the ship is believed to be hidden somewhere in Ohio. <laughs> General de Gaulle, the well-known Frenchman, was today crowned King of Europe. <laughs> Among the guests, present at his coronation was the commander-in-chief of NATO, or America, as we now prefer to call him. <laughs> the general performed the ceremony himself at his present residence, a mental home in northern France. <laughs> the English draft was today drastically reduced. Buckingham Palace now has complete central heating. <laughs> <clears throat> From America, the word is that more and more film stars are turning to politics. George Murphy has danced his way into politics. Ronald Reagan is acting his way into politics. And George Hamilton is doing the best he can. <laughs> Now, here is a very important message from the British Ministry of Finance. As you probably know, Britain is 400,000 million pounds sterling in debt to everyone. <laughs> Unless this sum can be raised by public donation within the next three days, the government will be forced to accept the American government's generous offer of 500 million dollars and sell the Queen. <laughs> Countless messages of sympathy and three small checks have been flooding in from all over the world. Canada has launched a Save Our Sovereign Lady, Britannic Elizabeth Regina, bonsoir appeal. And Australia has offered to hire Her Majesty on the basis of a Lend-Liz lease. <laughs> President de Gaulle's personal offer for the Queen has been declined. <laughs> Mr. Harold Wilson, better known as the British Prime Minister, and not even well known as that, <laughs> replied in answer to an appeal, Elizabeth who? <laughs> Sir Alec Douglas Home was unavailable for comment at his London Hume. <laughs> Mr. Alexandrovich Oblensky Romanovich, a British Embassy spokesman, <laughs> has appealed to all members of the cabinet at one time or another. <laughs> Several people have demanded that, at a later date, the Queen should be returned, intact. A strong opposition to this, however, came from Prince Philip. <laughs> his attitude could best be summed up in his own words, look, chaps, a deal is a deal. <laughs> Should the preceding measures not be sufficient to solve Britain's economic difficulties, new plans were proposed today to devalue the British pound. In this event, the new British pound would be worth approximately a nickel. <laughs> in France, it would be worth two francs. In Germany, three marks. And in Italy, 35 billion lira. <laughs> the end of the news, but finally, here is a very important police message. Early this morning, a hydrogen bomb, the equivalent of several million hundred tons of TNT, was dropped on Ireland. Will anyone who saw this accident or can give any information please telephone, please? <laughs> <laughs>